Grenada in the West Indies is a pretty stunning destination as Caribbean islands go. As you can no doubt see from the view behind me, it is stunning, the weather is awesome, and it's a pretty safe island, um, which I know is a factor on many people's lists when they are considering new destinations to move to. But in today's video, I will share with you the key resource that you need if you want island life to go smoothly and to be as successful for you as possible. Hi, I'm Zoe Smith, founder of the Exodus Collective, a platform that inspires folks to make conscious moves to the Caribbean. And last year, I made my final move to Grenada with my young family after, yeah, a 10 year process, which included a few other stints on the island too. And I would definitely say that the one key resource that you absolutely need if you want to make life on an island of 110,000 people a success is community. Community is absolutely everything. As someone who has had the experiences of living uh, in Ibiza, in Milan, um, I've lived in different places in the UK as well, um, there is something really unique about island life that means your crew is absolutely everything. Um, and it's funny, yesterday I was at an event where I bumped into a few people um, who follow the YouTube channel and who had really kind things to say. And what has absolutely been occurring to me over the past few weeks, if not months, um, is that Grenada really doesn't have like a obvious focal point for foreigners who are coming to the island. And I say foreigners because I don't like the word expats. Um, many of us are like me, have Grenadian heritage. I have a Grenadian passport. Um, but the way in which we're received is different, probably for good reason. Um, but at times you kind of just want people who are going to know how to show you the ropes, who can help you navigate through, who can be a shoulder to cry on, who can be a resource to, to draw upon. Um, and what's interesting is that because I've been doing this excess collective stuff for so long, it's really exciting to see what's happening on other islands. So, for example, anytime someone asks me about moving to Jamaica, the one place that I always send them to is the Black Expats and Repats in Jamaica group. Shout out to Kwame, um, who is doing an awesome job along with his team on that platform. Uh, Barbados also has an amazing resource um, for Black Expats there. For them, um, having a platform where people can connect, get information, share resources, tips, etc., has been really useful. And I know some of you watching might be saying, well, why is it going to be a black thing? Why do you need your own group? Why can't everyone be together? And those options are there. Um, and, and yeah, there are expat groups in Jamaica, there are expat groups in Barbados. Um, but for me specifically, as someone who has spent the past 42 years on the planet being black, uh, that is my, my lived experience. I'm not an exclusionary person. My kids are of mixed descent. Um, but there definitely is a need for spaces where uh, you can just get the information that you need without necessarily being questioned or gaslit, um, which is something that I see on a lot of um, expat forums, foreigners forums. Um, and yeah, just to kind of start from a common level of understanding. So that's why I am mentioning black sites. Um, do I think that that's what's needed in Grenada? I don't know. Um, but I think I just wanted to clarify that so I don't have to spend a lot of time in the comments answering people who question uh, that aspect. Anyhow, getting back to the more important stuff, which is building community and the importance of community in Grenada. Um, from what you guys have been telling me, you guys want a space in which you can connect and meet other people who are also making moves. Um, earlier this year, I hosted a series of workshops focusing on moving to Grenada and also St. Kitts and Nevis. And one of the really exciting things to come out of that was just this hub of awesome people who are all in various stages of moving to Grenada. And what we would do after the workshops was to meet on a weekly basis where we would just track our progress. Um, 
whether it's, hey, uh, I've handed in my notice, or yes, my passport has finally come through after two years of waiting. Um, it was just a way in which we could share pro progress um, with people who, who genuinely cared, who were genuinely supportive, and who could often share their experiences and their advice um, in ways which everyone would be able to benefit. Um, and in addition, we also had experts from Grenada. So whether it was a lawyer who could give you advice um, if you were looking to build your own property, to folks who could give you tips on setting up a business, just having like a regular virtual space where you can connect and start that networking, which is so essential um, long before you move. So one, you get your questions answered straight away. You don't have to spend time going around in circles looking for stuff online that just doesn't actually exist. Um, so yeah, that community that we started was really important. And in a way, the reason that the Exodus Collective exists is because I know just how hard it is to find information in the Caribbean. Um, I don't think anything that I've said or anything that I've shared is particularly revolutionary. Um, but if you are abroad and looking to make a move and the information that you need just isn't there, having um, a platform, a resource, um, a place that curates the information that you need really can save you so much time um, because I know being here in Grenada like the stuff that I need and it involves going to three different offices paying for like a 190 page book um, whereas in the UK I could sit at my desk just click and get exactly in, in the information I need um, so yeah a community to be the human resources that you need on your journey, um, but that can also signpost you to where you need to be, I think is something that's really needed. And from what I'm hearing from you guys, it's really needed too. But I would love to get your thoughts. And this is like gonna be a short video because my gimbal is broken. If anyone wants to donate a gimbal, please do let me know because my arm is literally about to break. Um, so I will keep this one short. I would love to hear from you. What would you, like to see from a community in Grenada. Um, I've given you a hint as to some of the stuff that I think um, has already come up as a suggested items list. Uh, another thing that I think is really essential is regular in-person meetups. Um, it's really hard for me to be able to meet everyone one-on-one, -on -one, but group events I think could be a way for you to kind of form that community um, and meet other people. There's so many people beyond me who are far more skilled and far more talented. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, I will keep you posted as to how things develop. That's it from me. Make sure to comment. Take care. Bye.